Nobody expected that right through the 90s and into this century, China would have such a run of success. While China basically defies uh, many of these predictions that if you don't reform your political system, uh, then you will collapse. It's just, there is a whole industry in the West predicting that China is going to collapse. What is ridiculous is that the people continue credibility. I mean, the most farcical is Gordon Chang, who wrote a book in 2002 called The Coming Collapse of China. Um, okay, China hasn't collapsed. The problem in the West is that they had a wrong theory of China. They thought that China's economy should not succeed. When the facts went against that, Instead of examining the facts and saying, well, why is our theory wrong? We, we predicted that China's economy would not grow. There would be a big disaster in China. Our theory was uh, wrong. Therefore, what's wrong with our theory? They attempt to deny the facts. They say our theory is right. China hasn't really grown or China hasn't really improved its social conditions or, or perhaps if they can't get away with that because, you know, China's had the world's most rapidly growing economy for the last 38 years. They say, well, it's about to collapse. It will collapse next year. And then when it doesn't collapse next year, they'll say that it'll collapse the year later, right? That, and that, that's not got anything to do with science. And that, it's what I call fantasy uh, literature. I think, I think the modernization of the Chinese economy, driven by Chinese leadership since Deng Xiaoping, the great Deng Xiaoping, has been the most successful revolution in world history. Yeah, the, the biggest change is that China has had the year after year of high economic growth. Back when I was watching the emergence of Deng Xiaoping and his reforms, nobody expected that right through the 90s and into this century, China would have such a run of success. No one expected that. No hard landing, no economic collapse, um, public support for hard measures like the, the reforms of the state sector in the 1990s. I mean, nobody could have expected such success. And when I hear people, especially Americans, say it's all going to come to an end, China will fall into stagnation, I say you've been saying that for 20 years and it hasn't happened. While well, China basically defies uh, many of these predictions that if you don't reform your political system, uh, then you will collapse. And if you don't reform your economic system in a way they want you know, further marketization, then you will encounter a lot of problems. But on the other hand, this kind of uh, predictions of doom may underestimate the resiliency of the present system in responding to this crisis or, or these issues that accumulate from the lack of reform. Eventually, um, generally, they are able to deal with some part of these issues, um, some of them completely gone, um, and then later of course, other new issues come out, they are also able to respond. Uh, having said that, uh, the China's model is unique in that sense that uh, it is uh, able to uh, uh, basically today propel China to the state it is today. And we cannot say that it is a failure. In a way, China is really successful in combining what it learns from the world uh, and its own considerations of national conditions and other things. The communist rule so far. In the, in the way that it rebuilt the states, uh, regenerate the economy, and then basically giving people, uh, the Chinese people, certain sense of confidence and, um, and, and in, the, in, the, in their own country. So in this sense, it's doing great. Actually, the party, you know, it's become so strong. So, so that's why, you know, I tell scholars, you know, you know, you know, if you look on the stand China, you have to look, look at those facts first. Don't you know? Have, you should not have a, a, a ideology biased you know, perspective toward China. What what things are being mentioned? You know, this is Jews, right? This is, you you have to take truth from facts, right? So you have to to look into facts first. Then you can have a judgment. <laughs>